While Victor Bronner might not be a household name today, his impact on the art scene is nothing short of remarkable. Born in Romania in the early 1900s, his journey took an interesting turn in 1930 when he, like many others, sought refuge from the rising tide of fascism in his homeland and landed in the vibrant, artistic hub of Paris, France. It was in the City of Lights that he became part of the Surrealist group. His paintings from the 1930s and 1940s articulate a style that was very influential on later painters. One notable piece is the Indicator of Space from 1934. Picture this, a strange robot-looking thing covered in a green cloth, confidently pointing somewhere. But the painting is more than meets the eye. It's like a puzzle. There's a hole in the checkerboard ground showing a mysterious foot, a tiny ball in the pavement pattern, and a mysterious figure behind the wall. Victor creates an image that makes you think, balancing clear pictures with no clear story. This puzzling, interesting way of showing things became a big part of surrealism, and Victor was right in the middle of it. Victor Bronner, though little known, was undoubtedly one of the major figures in surrealism. Right before World War II started, Bronner ended up in Switzerland. He chose not to reapply for citizenship, a new rule for all Jews in France. It turned out to be a smart move, especially since Victor had painted a really unflattering picture of Adolf Hitler in 1934. After the war, he went back to Paris and kept on working until his death in 1966. I appreciate your support, and I hope you watch until the end, because there are so many disturbingly wonderful and incredibly beautiful paintings that you really should see.
Thank you for watching.